2020 turned out to be a difficult and eventful year. All of us experienced the most unexpected events. Empty streets in large cities, social distancing, and the dawn of digital communication. This year made progress towards new developments and technologies more difficult, but it nevertheless managed to surprise us with an onslaught of interesting new products that could radically change a person's life. Innovative Techs collected the most significant inventions and technological events of 2020. Make yourself comfortable and welcome to the world of modern technology. Vision Avatar January 2020 commenced with beauty. The Mercedes-Benz Corporation unveiled the futuristic Vision Avatar concept. It is built in the form of a symbiont that can interact with humans at a previously unattainable level. It has autopilot, a fully steerable chassis with crab gait, and familiar controls that most drivers will be accustomed to. Its aesthetic looks like it was pulled right out of the Avatar movie directed by James Cameron. At the back of the car, there are 33 moving elements that imitate scales. This makes the concept come alive. The Vision Avatar cabin also breaks the mold. Mercedes specialists raise the minimal aesthetic to its absolute, reinforcing everything with smooth lines and fantastic technological materials. The vehicle is controlled using the joystick located in the center. It recognizes a driver's pulse and automatically alerts the car when a person appears. Most of the internal systems are controlled by gestures and a dedicated projection system. Electric Car Sony Vision S Also in early January, Sony presented its electric car. The tech giant surprised everyone with the Vision S. The sedan, which resembles a stylish sibling of the Lucid Air and Porsche Taycan, caused a lot of buzz at CES 2020. The Japanese conglomerate demonstrated its vision for the near future in the field of transport. The main focus of this project was on comfort and safety. Therefore, the Vision S is equipped with three dozen sensors that monitor the environment within the vehicle and ensure an autonomous mode. The onboard equipment also constantly monitors the situation in the passenger compartment, paying attention to the condition of the passengers. A panoramic dashboard screen and 360-degree immersion reality audio are included. Two 200-kilowatt electric motors are responsible for the dynamics. The maximum speed is 149 miles an hour. The Sony Vision S weighs over 2 tons. Crew Dragon Man Flight On May 30, 2020, SpaceX, in collaboration with NASA, performed a historic launch of the Crew Dragon reusable spacecraft to the International Space Station. It was the first U.S. manned flight since 2011, when the Atlantis shuttle last left for the skies. On board the SpaceX shuttle were astronauts Douglas Hurley and Bob Behnken. The Crew Dragon was launched into orbit by the Falcon 9 Block 5 launch vehicle. The launch took place at 1922 UTC, and the first part of SpaceX's workhorse successfully landed on an autonomous barge. This mission was the final phase of the commercial crew program. Elon Musk and Gwen Shotwell's main rival is Boeing, which developed its own version of the manned spacecraft called the Starliner. However, code errors led to problems during the test flight, which then led to SpaceX's victory in one of the most heated space races of the decade. Interesting fact, during the last 135th shuttle flight, the Atlantis team left the U.S. flag on the ISS. Only an astronaut arriving on an American ship could take it out of orbit. It took nine long years before SpaceX won the flag race. The company's pilot stocked to the ISS on May 31, 2020, and delivered the trophy back to Earth. Raffle City, Chongqing June opened the doors to one of the most interesting architectural structures of the 21st century, the horizontal skyscraper, called Raffle City Chongqing. The cost of the project was $4.8 billion, and its main highlight is a huge aerial bridge that connects six skyscrapers. The design is called the Crystal. Its length is above 984 feet, and the total weight of the horizontal bridge reaches 12,000 tons. The apex of the structure sits at a height of 820 feet. Inside the crystal, there is a park, a glass observation deck, and various art objects. Here, visitors will find a private club, two restaurants, a themed installation dedicated to life on Mars, and a lot more entertainment. 
The observation deck opens on an incredible view of the Chongqing city. Perseverance On July 30th, fans of space and high-tech could witness the launch of the Mars 2020 mission. As part of this research project, the Perseverance rover will be delivered to the Red Planet. The Atlas V launched an anonymous NASA transport from Cape Canaveral. The landing of both the rover and the world's first helicopter to explore other planets is scheduled for February 18, 2021. The main role in this mission is assigned to Perseverance, which will shoulder the burden of Mars exploration along with the Curiosity. The new rover is larger and heavier than its predecessor. It weighs 2,259 pounds, which is 14% more than the Curiosity. The apparatus received an improved chassis, a 78-inch long manipulator arm, and a rotating turret. Plutonium dioxide is used to power the unit. The Ingenuity helicopter drone will work in tandem with the rover. It will help plan the route and gather information about its surroundings. It can fly at an altitude of 30 feet, and the maximum flight range is 1,968 feet. Battery Day from Elon Musk and Tesla at the end of September, one of the key events of the year took place – Battery Day by Tesla. Immediately after the annual meeting of Tesla shareholders, Elon Musk presented new fuel cells in the 4680 format. An innovative approach to the production of lithium-ion batteries, it allowed for a five-fold increase in energy intensity and a six-fold increase in power. This should increase the range of Tesla electric cars by 16%. Elon Musk states that, in the near future, his company will reduce the cost of power cells to $100 per kilowatt hours of capacity. It is believed that as soon as the price of lithium-ion cells reaches this mark, the cost of electric cars will be equal to those with internal combustion engines. Tesla will produce the new 4680 fuel cells on their own. During the presentation, Musk said that the test line for the release of updated batteries is almost ready to launch. At the end of Battery Day, a charged Tesla Model S Plaid electric car was presented. Its maximum speed is 198 miles per hour, with a range of 521 miles. Pal v Liberty October brought good news from the Netherlands. One of the heroes of our releases, the commercial flying vehicle Pal v Liberty, received a permit to travel on public roads. This event set sail to the emergence of a versatile dual-use vehicle. Before obtaining a permit, the flying car passed a number of tests in accordance with European laws. The PAL V Liberty performed high-speed maneuvers, tested the brake system, and demonstrated that it has acceptable noise levels. The appearance of such cars on ordinary roads could become the impetus for the development of universal passenger transportation systems. Perhaps these are the advances that will bring us closer to solving existing problems in the field of global transport traffic. The declared flight range of the Liberty is 807 miles, and the maximum speed is 99 miles per hour. Starlink Autumn also reacquainted us with SpaceX's satellite internet project, known as Starlink. At the end of October, beta testing of the existing network started with several thousand testers invited to join. The vast majority of them were residents of the northern states of the United States and southern Canada. In November, social networks literally boiled over with photos and videos, showing equipment for the Starlink network. Several bloggers published photos of a receiving station and a dish-shaped antenna. The first testers noted that the reception speed varied between 45 and 138 megabit per second. In 2021, Starlink is set to move to providing services in North America and Europe. Right now, the company has a constellation of 953 satellites and plans to increase their number to 12,000 within a few years. Tests of the Starship Prototype For our final release, let us end with the most grandiose project by Elon Musk and SpaceX. We're talking about the Starship Interplanetary Transport System. In 2020, Musk's aerospace company was actively working on its brainchild and several times shocked the public with enchanting tests involving various prototypes. On August 24, the SN6, dubbed the Silo Tower, successfully passed a single-engine Raptor fire test and took off to a height of 492 feet. 
This was followed by a controlled descent and landing. Only a few months later, at the end of the year, the newest prototype, Starship SN9, took off to the skies. It was equipped with three Raptor engines and aerodynamic flaps. The prototype reached an altitude of 41 miles, after which it carried out a controlled fall and a so-called flip maneuver. The tests ended in a spectacular explosion as the engines were disrupted by the low pressure in one of the tanks. SpaceX said it received all the necessary data and is already preparing to launch a prototype SN9 in early 2021. And there you have it. This is what the innovative space and technology landscape looked like in the difficult but very interesting times of 2020. What events stuck out to you the most? Tell us in the comments below and if you enjoyed this or learned something new today, please like this video.